Hey guys, uh, Ray made it into town with me again. Uh, this is uh, a <laughs> hey Ray. This is the third time he's up, and uh, basically what we're going to do today, guys, is uh, I actually saved uh, two of the uh, the checking cleans that uh, every time Ray's been up here that we actually go on. So uh, I reckon I uh, hope y'all stick around and uh, and we're going to get after it. All right, y'all, right, we're getting ready to take off. Me and Ray getting ready to take off on our on our long journey here, but uh, I'm going to get a quick shot of his uh, wicked GMC there. That gone, right? I like your custom plate there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Ain't that something? Uh uh uh. All right, Ray, let's get after it, buddy. We're on our way. Stuff coming along. All right, Ray, we're we're on a long journey here. All right, we're here. Uh, <laughs> Checking clean number one. Hey, Kevin, right. thanks, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Stephen, man. I appreciate it so much, brother. We're actually gonna me and Ray's gonna put that to use today, man. I, I can't thank you enough. All right, Ray, let's get after it, brother. Have a little table here, make it easy. Okay, on guys, us. we're back over here at Brenda's, uh, over at uh, Ray's favorite spot here. These are the ones that he's actually worked on, so we're actually going to give him the opportunity to do it again if uh, if he wants to. Okay, Ray, uh, what's first things first, buddy? Full disconnect. There you go. Set that in a safe location. All right. Now we're going to go ahead, and I, I reckon Ray's going to remove the top. I, I believe it's probably full of full of leaves again, or a few in there. There's a few in there. She's actually had the uh, trees trimmed. So, I mean, last time we were over here, Ray, it was caked, wasn't it? Ray's got his little magnet out so we don't lose the screws. And what he's actually working on here is a two and a half ton. Same as mine, Heritage, Heritage uh, 13 sear, but this one's an R410A heat pump. So basically the reason we're actually going to take the top off and actually vacuum it, if you see this, uh, see we're up on snow legs here, and this thing needs to drain, okay, whether it be summer or winter. And if the holes get, holes get plugged up, uh, especially in the summertime, it could actually freeze, cracking the pan and, and not uh, defrosting correctly. Get them, Ray. Okay. Ray almost got stung, guys. We got one, one big old wasp in that nest there. I'll eradicate it for him. All right, guys. Like I said, we got the top off. We've got the it secured in a secure location. We make sure it wasn't teeter tottering or anything like that, and uh, we'll actually get on it. All right, guys. Just bear with it. There one pinch, she's gone. Now, if it was a bumblebee or something like that, I wouldn't mess with it. But wasps and yellow jackets, I ain't got no time for them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's not as bad as it was last year. But, you know, it's still got some in it. And right where they collect at, the leaves collect at, can you see right there? You can ba barely see that hole right there. I only see one open hole right over here. Yep. The rest of them are covered up. Okay. All right, Ray's going to do his little thing with my new rigid vacuum. I hate those things. There you go. Huh. 
Got nothing new use for this, right? It actually goes right through those holes. See? Make sure they're good and clean. I got things put down in anything. Okay, brother. I guess that's it. You know what it is? It's time for what now? Cold gun. Cold gun time, baby. All right, let's get. Let's okay, get guys. Ready. Ray's gonna pour in our cleaner in our new coal gun here. That's good, Ray. Okay. I love this tool here, man. It cleans real good. I think Ray enjoys this. Hopefully, she got her hose fixed since last time. I think she just needs the washer. It needs to be tighter. Yeah, we had a fountain going here last time. And we just have to deal with it. It just, just needs a new gasket. <laughs> That's all right, Rick. That's all right, just have it. Just start spraying it. Look at Dan, Ray. Use it all. All right, brother, we'll let it sit there for a minute. That stuff does a great job. Okay, guys, we got it all uh, cleaned up here, and uh, uh, Ray's putting the top back on. And uh, I always keep a little bit of cardboard on my truck uh, behind my my tool my tool boxes in there, and uh, just for the simple fact, a lot of times you know you're going to be in the mud, and I don't feel like tracking that everywhere. And Ray thought ahead and got him some waterproof uh, steel toes there. Hey Dallas, what's going on, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting in a 13 steer RA uh, NL, RA NL, um, three and a half technicians right now. Oh my I'm goodness! Go All right, man. Go yeah, you, you yeah, pull. I got to do the uh, 
the refrigeration verification test on it, and they got like that all my numbers. Yes, sir. I reckon that's coming this way soon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gotta get all that. I gotta get all that and record all that. You got it on a vacuum right now? Uh, it's on vacuum pump, and uh, it was actually uh, in a vacuum overnight for uh, leak testing, so I know I have no leaks. Rock and roll, brother. We're gonna get ready to charge it. Rock and roll, rock and roll. All right, let me see if I can. Let me see. Okay, Dallas, man, uh, we'll, we'll holler at you soon. Uh, holler at us tonight when you get off work, buddy. Okay. Okay. Okay, man, thanks, buddy. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye, Dallas. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to uh, find our 45.5, and as you remember, we uh, actually stocked back up, and we've got one right here. All right, let's go pop this puppy on Brenda's unit and uh, fire it up. Okay, and Ray, test I don't want to steer you wrong here, brother. I always preach to always test your brand new capacitors, but even before you put them on. But uh, we've already got everything hooked up. But it's it's pretty simple, man. Just uh, pull your fan off there and pull your two herms off. And it's always good to use your uh, your pliers when you're doing it. You can leave, leave the commons attached. Okay, here you go. Here's your test leads. All right, what are you going to test first, Ray? I'm going to test the fan first. Okay, we're, our brand new one is a 45 slash 5 440, exactly like what we just took off right here. I'm on the fan. All right, we've got uh, 5.1. We're good on the fan, brother. Here's her. I think we were running at, what, like 43.8 on that other right. one? Okay, we're running at 44.6. We're great. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and button that up. We can put your wires back on, and we'll uh, we'll get to do it. Uh, okay, doing a Ray, couple let's uh, go ahead while we're uh, letting our charge do its thing here, uh, or letting it uh, run for a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get our amp draw on our fan, and it's saying our amp draw on our fan shouldn't exceed 0 0.70. So let's see what you got there, buddy. That's that's pretty high, but you know, well, there we go. 0.5.6. Okay, that's something that we're actually going to keep an eye on right there. 0.5.6. Okay. All right, guys. All right, let's go ahead and do our compressor amp draw. And we're looking for around 11, or not exceeding 11.7. That's going to be it. Oh, you already got it. The black and white, the black and blue wire there. Okay, guys. We're looking good on that. All right, we want to keep an eye on the fan motor. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at our our subcoolant since we've had it running for a few minutes here and our subcoolant design subcoolant is 9 right here and it looks like we're pretty much dead on I'm not going to mess with this charge guys um, we're plus or minus 3 on the 9 side uh, we're going to call this good so uh, me and old Ray is going to wrap it up for uh, this one and we're going to head out on the next one alright guys thanks for